I'm reviewing FooVision Wi-Fi Hidden Camera. This is motion activated and it's app based, but it can also be a power charger with a USB. Your camera is located right there. Now right here it's going to show you your password, your access code, and your camera user. You can open this up to add your SD card and of course this is your USB port for charging. Now you can charge and see the camera at the same time with the same phone. So I'm going to plug in my phone. came on immediately and you can see right there it is charging Let's see. and if you can see right there it is charging and to show you that it doesn't mess with the video and you can see me waving so as you can see it's, it's very real time as well very sensitive. The application is called Foo Vision, F U V I S I O N. When it pops up and you don't see your camera here, it's because you are not connected to the camera. And you will need to go to your settings, to your Wi Fi, and you're going to connect with the camera through the Wi Fi. And it will explain that in the manual. It's very easy to do. Then it will pop up just like this. It is currently located in my living room. Now it's not a very wide angle camera, so you need to point it directly at what you want to look at. The video quality is pretty good. Like many others, you can take a snap photo, you can record. Now it says light here, that is not for this model. You can listen. Now it's very staticky when you're listening to the speaker. It's also staticky on the camera speaker when you're using the microphone. So I have mine attached to a power cord that is mounted on my wall and it's a perfect place because I can sit here on the couch and charge my phone and it's not noticeable whatsoever. If you need to place the charger upside down in some outlets you do, there is a flip. Now you can go here if you have the SD card, but I do not. Your settings, you can change the camera alias. You can switch to HD and back. Your Wi-Fi setting. This, this I really like. Usually you're going to have to type in your, um, your Wi-Fi, but you just hit the I for information and it will show you all of the ones that are in the network that you can go to. This is your recording settings for your SD card. Your FTP setting if you're going to use one. Your alarm setting. You can set the motion detection on, the sensitivity. I have it on low right now. Um, you can do uh, your snapshot, voice activation, and the sensitivity of the voice activation as well. Your email setting. 
Now, email can be tricky if you have not set it up with a Wi-Fi camera before. So your sender email will be the email of your account. Your SMTP password is the password of your email. Now, the SMTP server, this is what gets people a little tricky is to figure out what it is. Usually it's SMTP dot whatever um, yours is dot com. But for Yahoo, it's SMTP dot mail dot Yahoo dot com. And so a lot of times when it comes to different um, email servers, you will have to Google to figure it out. But this one is set up where you can hit I and there's many here that are used frequently like the Yahoo. So you can just click that. Now the default SMTP port is 25. Many large emails like Yahoo filter out port 25. So if you are not getting any emails, it's most likely not due to your camera, but due to the emails filters. 25, many of them already filter those out. They don't even go to spam. So um, one is 995, that's a good port that you can try, and 465 is always a winner. Um, usually Yahoo does not filter out if you have that 465, so I would try that. Your receiver email would be, of course, the email that you want the snapshot sent to. So if it's the same as the one that you're sending it from, then you will add it there. Uh, data encryption, normally it's SSL, uh, just meaning that you do have security like a password to your email. Your system setting, it will have your IP address, the version of your camera, but this is where you can do your system restart, factory restart, and your firmware updating. Your album here is anything that you took a picture or recording of. Events is every time that there is a motion detection or a voice detection, something that alerted and triggered the alarm. And the last portion is where you can change your password and it's it's mostly strictly for the application. It's asking for feedback and um, help. And you can turn your push notifications on and off. And there's the email that was sent to me with the snapshot. And the snapshot, of course, when you have it set up, it's going to have your camera on this side and on this side it will give you the time and date. And now that we had triggered the alarm, it sent me that email but it also is alerting me here. Overall it gives a very clear picture, especially for something that's so small and hidden like it is. I hope this gives you a better idea of their product. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.